do you analyze data i am sure you do but problem is before you can analyze data you spend too much time cleaning it up so why not make that faster today we are going to learn about a great feature which is there since 2013 but most probably you don't know about it it's called flash fill but now mind let's take an example i have some data which ideally should be in three columns but it has come in one column i have to split it whenever i ask someone how will you do it do you know what is the answer text to columns okay let's do text to columns yes space is the delimiter but there are multiple spaces somewhere so extra columns will get created you know that is going to happen and you also know you are going to waste time cleaning it up further so that text to column actually did not solve the problem it increased your work that's not efficient now this is what i should think do i need a better way of cleaning up data yes now the next thing is very important if you have a need just remember microsoft will have noticed your need and will have given you a solution you just have to find that button or the feature now where is that feature nobody is going to tell you you have to figure it out and to make it easier for you to understand it microsoft puts it in a logically correct place in this case it is right next to text to columns just 2 mm away it's called flash fill now mind what it does look at the tool tip what basically it is asking you to do is you have got this data that's your input what do you want as the output tell me tell me means excel and excel will figure out what to do so i'm just going to give an example i'll type the word management press enter nothing happens because now excel has to understand that take that example and expand it further for the remaining rows and that's where you click the flash fill button control e is the shortcut and miraculously it does the job for you isn't that beautiful so let's take another example similar stuff but i want whatever is in bracket ft mgmt it okay so i give an example called ft and try control e and it does not work sad disappointed don't worry the problem here is when it was trying to do pattern matching ft was the example so excel thought the uppercase characters is what you want but actually what you wanted is what is in brackets so probably this was the wrong example to give ambiguous example so what do you do where did it do the mistake management so now go to the second one and correct the mistake the moment you start typing it notice what it is doing it has selected the whole range to visually tell you and don't worry you correct my mistake i'm going to rethink and do the job isn't that better so the next example is something where we have extra spaces in between word if spaces were outside trim will work inside trim doesn't work don't worry i'm just going to write the sentence without spaces and control e or flash fill will do the job now how does this happen by the way you may think it's a great feature but do you know how much effort goes behind the scenes for it this was done by microsoft research and after 6 years of effort and research they have put it in excel and that happened in 2013 and since 2013 that button is looking at you you are not looking at the button you always had the need the solution was there but you never looked at each other that's called inefficiency so let's proceed with some more examples so that you get the idea here again i have multiple columns in one column in this case i just want the numbers now remember the numbers are starting on the second line so i'll give an example in the second row that's absolutely fine so 800107 press flash fill and it's done even more complicated example i want you to say i have written united states of america so create acronym very complex you would have to typically write a macro for this no need just type you say press control e and job is done now you will say oh this made a mistake eod is wrong no eod is not wrong it's pattern matching so it's looking at the data and then deciding what to do so that's why i have given eod but somewhere the upper case somewhere lower case so it's basically picking up upper case this is a classic one this is a common problem everyone has mobile numbers pin codes any type of numbers get mixed up like this just one example and it's smart enough to remove all unwanted non numeric characters absolutely outstanding isn't it abhi you may be thinking are this is only doing one column no this can do multi columns 
and not only split it can merge all so now i'm going to write from column 1 column 2 column 3 india has 46 states and then it is going to build the sentence for all of them so i hope you have got the idea of how to do it but as though this is not enough this is available in power query as well so many people who know flash fill don't know power query and vice versa i hope you know power query look at the power bi video i have created that will explain how power query has to be used for data cleanup so the same feature in power query let's take one example we will take this 3 in 1 now i have picked up that table in power query and i want to add a column where i only want the numbers so now you go to the column tab and say add column from example the phrase flash fill is not there it's called add column from example so select the column and then say add column from example from the selection so it will look at the pattern give the number and then sometimes you have to give two numbers for it to figure out and then it will automatically fill the rest of the numbers so that's flash fill equivalent in power query isn't that superb don't you find it useful start using it immediately and you know what to do like share subscribe yeah subscribe very important because many of my videos 78% actually last time it was 79 are being watched by non subscribers if you subscribe you are going to benefit because i put one video every day so you are increasing your efficiency every day of course uh, it's very important to let me know how you liked it so put your comments queries i'll be happy to answer them and there is a thanks button as well have a look at that and before you go there is a brilliant video on how to navigate in excel i'm sure you'll love it have a look at it so till next time take care bye bye